We have a battle of the top European cloud gaming platforms, Boostroid versus the original Shadow Machine. This will mainly be a tech comparison on which platform runs games better. I'll run three different game benchmarks side by side for this test, at 1080p only since Boostroid can only run at 1080p. First, we'll have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, then Cyberpunk 2077, and finally, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll run the system default setting benchmark, then I'll show you the results for both default and max settings without DLSS or FSR for raw power. For the Boosteroid tests, I'm using the RTX 6000 configuration, while for the base shadow machine, I'm using the P5000. Now for those who don't know anything about these two platforms, Boosteroid is a leading pick up and play own it play it cloud gaming platform. This means you have to own the games to play them on the platform, but you do get to play them instantly without downloads or installs. Shadow is a cloud PC with an adequate GPU to run games. This is Shadow's base model and it has an equivalent power of a GTX 1080. You can install just about anything you want and that includes software that are not games. It is your very own fully fledged Windows Cloud PC. There's also a significant difference in price. Boosteroid has basically a $10 monthly charge while the base Shadow Machine has a charge of $30 a month. Tech-wise, Boosteroid supports DLSS and ray tracing with their new RTX 6000s. The base Shadow does not. Now Boosteroid only goes to 1080p while Shadow can scale to your monitor size. Does price dominate in performance? Let's see. First we have Modern Warfare 2. At default settings, 1080p. Warzone is played by many on both platforms, so we wanted to showcase this one first. Boostroid does a great job of keeping at an average of 60 FPS, unlike Shadow, but the frames drop a bit when the settings are maxed and DLSS is off. Shadow was surprisingly the same even though FSR was off and things were maxed. Boostroid has several advantages over Shadow on Cyberpunk with DLSS and ray tracing. Shadow doesn't have ray tracing or DLSS, but it has FSR instead. Boostroid does an amazing job beating Shadow with the recommended settings even with ray tracing on. Now when we max the settings on both and remove DLSS and FSR, Boostroid does tank but of course that would be because ray tracing is still on. Shadow basically remains the same even with FSR off, which makes it seem like Shadow doesn't utilize it well. Now for Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm going to start in the middle of the benchmark for time's sake.
Metroid wins the default settings benchmark again by at least 20 FPS. Now things are much closer with everything maxed out and DLSS and FSR off. Boosteroid still wins, but not by much. Overall, Boosteroid reigns king here, with their more up-to-date hardware that supports better scaling technologies and RTX. Boosteroid clearly beats the base shadow machine in performance, but if you're into using your own Windows machine on any of your devices, including your phone, shadow is where it's at. Now what about the shadow power upgrade you say? We'll save that for another day. Now if you're interested in either Boosteroid or the base shadow machine, the links are in the description. Let me know your thoughts on the performance of these two platforms in the comments below. If you like this comparison video for Boosteroid and the base shadow tier, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.